Race Nomenclature. The last step in phenotyping the differentials is to actually take a differential set that has been inoculated with an unknown isolate and read each line for its infection type. Once you have determined the infection type for the 20 differential lines, the next thing that you need to do is determine whether each infection type is high or low. So as an example, the first infection type that we scored was a 4, and that is a high infection type. The second one was a 3 plus. That is also a high infection type. The third one was a FLEC1 minus. Now that is below a 2, so it's a low infection type. The last one was a 2, 2 plus, which is still a low infection type. And you go through all 20 of the differentials and determine whether the infection type is high or low. Once you have determined whether each infection type is high or low for the 20 differential lines, what you can do is assign a letter code for the high and low pattern for the 20 differentials. And so these 20 differentials, which are listed here, are divided into five groups of four. And so the first group of four has the infection type pattern high, high, low, low. We can go to this code which we call the PGT code for the stem rest code, and see what letter the pattern corresponds to. For high, high, low, low, that pattern corresponds to a Q. So for the first four differentials, the infection type pattern is a Q. But for the second set, the pattern is low, low, high, high. That infection type pattern corresponds to the letter F. When you go through all five sets of the differentials, you can write down the letter code. And in this case, the letter code is QFCSC. And so that is the race name for this rest isolate based upon the reaction to the 20 differential lines. Now in this case, we have this order of gene lines which stays consistent for the North, North American stem rest differential set. However, at the Serial Disease Laboratory, the specific lines that we use might be slightly different than the lines that other people are using. However, this order of genes is consistent and is always the same for the North American stem rest differential set.